today's video we're going to be getting out some frog spawn from our pond. We're going to be moving it down to a different one lower. So we're doing this because somebody's going to be cleaning out this pond um, because you probably won't be able to see very well. But um, you know there's loads of duckweed on the floor and it's not looking very nice at the moment. So usually you shouldn't be taking fox one from one pond to another but if you look at this one you see it's all on a stream so we're going to be moving it down to the bottom two which is here and over there so um we're going to be doing that today and you know let's see how it turns out all right, so the audio probably won't be so good as there's a trickling fountain, but we've got a clump of frog spawn there, which should be, you know, quite difficult to get up because it's reasonably far out. Got another clump underwater here, so the reflection's really bad. We've got another clump by those water lilies over there. So, um, I'll see what I can do. There's a clump here um, under this bit, so we're going to be getting it into this bucket. The vacuum of it should get it in, and I'll just help with it. It's really slippery, it's like jelly. So there's um, the black dots are the actual tadpole, the jelly stuff around the outside is the protective coating, so almost like the shell of the egg. So, um, yeah, I'll take this down to the bottom pond. <coughs> so now we're going to drop the frog spawn. Well, not drop it, but place it into here. Um, gently. So it will sink to the bottom with some of the bits down here. And um, it should be normal from there. Put in this bit. I've just noticed that a lot of the garden is coming up. You have these weird blue spear plants and there's some blossom coming out on the tree. Over here we have some really nice water plants to cool and that's what the frogs spawn the frogs are laying their frogs spawn on because their roots will be a good anchor for them. Um, and even though they still generally lay them in stagnant water to stop them from being um, moved around. Um, having an anchor helps. Sorry, I'm, I'm filming this bit on my own, so it's quite difficult. And the audio probably won't be go so good because it's really windy. But there's a clump here, which I'm just going to get with the net. And, you know, um, I'm trying to pick it up slowly and as safely as I can. But, you know, only around three eggs in a clump will actually survive to adulthood anyway. So, um... You know, it's not a big thing. They don't all turn out right, but here we go, just scooping it up. There we go. Another clump. Right, let's get this clump in. Turning it over now, nice and gently, because, you know, it is quite a fragile thing. There we go. I really want to squish it on. It's so nice. All right, so, because it's in the pond it's quite difficult to show you because Zypad can't go underwater but there's a clump just by those um, lily plant thingies there so I'm going to try and get that out now um, okay so it's quite a challenge trying to safely get in it out and also getting good shots because obviously the priority is doing it safely Let's see what we can do here. Ugh. Okay, so this here is the last bit that we could get at the moment. Because I was doing the last string without filming because it was in quite a difficult place. But uh, now there's been a whole load of silt stirred up 
and I know that there is some more but I can't properly find it so yeah but um, good that we do a fox spawn because it means that the pond's got a really good ecosystem and obviously now it's starting to properly come to life because um, we go away in summer for a while and the filter in the pump gets turned off so the pump sort of goes dead but in the summer and spring it really comes up and we find grass snakes, newts, ducks, frogs, you know leeches, worms, loads of like little water lice, snails, everything you know. So um, hopefully when that life becomes more abundant we could do a video on pond dipping which would be really cool. So, um, quickly, just a thing to say, never take frog spawn out of the pond and put it in the other one. First of all, because of the frog spawn safety, but you know, it, it would have died anyway up there when the guy cleaned it out, so at least it's got a chance in here. And also, this is the same body of water, it's going down a stream, so if you move from different ponds to different ones, you're going to be spreading diseases and species which could mess up the ecosystem so you know bear that in mind and now it's time for the facts peace facts the fox spawn that we were moving belonged to the common frog one of the most common species of amphibians found in the uk and europe they generally mate around february to april when the dark male sits on the lighter female's back and injects sperm into her. She then releases the frog spawn and anchors them to an aquatic plant root so that if there's strong winds they won't blow away and to help this they generally lay them in stagnant water. Their population is stable and they are under the least concern category. Adults eat insects, snails, slugs and worms so they catch with their sticky tongues. And tadpoles eat algae and decaying organic matter until they become carnivorous. They may live 10 to 12 years and their predators include snakes, lizards, water shoes and herons. But remember, never move frog spawn from one pen to another or you may risk spreading diseases and invasive plants. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, we only moved the frog spawn because somebody's going to be clearing out that pond and we can move it safely because it's the same body of water. Um, it's run along a stream, so um, everything should be okay and um, should hopefully be getting some frogs next year. Bye!